Lara, how are you doing? Hello, I'm good, thank you. And you seem to have cut your hair. Yes, the, and to be honest, I think she's done a pretty good job, don't you? Yeah, it's looking good, but has the colour changed a bit? Uh, uh, yes, I'm, uh, I'm trying a new uh, artificial silver colour, shall we say. Don't worry, I'll be returning to my natural colour of suspiciously brown as soon as I can get back to a proper hairdresser. But listen, you've had a good week as well. You've had a lockdown birthday. Yes, that's right. It was very nice, but I don't think that the years need to count in lockdown. In your no. house, though, there's been an important birthday. The, the silly games for the party. So what am I going to do in lockdown? I decided to do a quiz. So I knocked up some Google. And it's not just children who are missing events. We all are. And music has been a real casualty of this. So much has been cancelled. Music festivals are off. The venues are closed. And it's hard to imagine when we'd next be going to a concert. That was Mark. Now we've been looking at some of the entertainment that has had to be cancelled. This weekend, I've been really looking forward to the Eurovision Song Contest. But what has happened is the AI Eurovision Song Contest that we talked about a few weeks ago. And something I found rather amusing was that Britain's entry was called Brentry. And would you believe I picked the winner? Predicting the desirability of partly AI-generated cheesy pop. Yes. Well done. It's my main superpower. Listen, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back next week live in our living rooms. You can find the team throughout the week on social media, on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter at BBC Click. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.